I was sent four controllers, two of which were the Gilly Kit King Kong 2 Pro Controller. No space between King Kong or two. Interesting. They said, here you go. You don't have to review it, but I'm so impressed with these that I think I'm gonna review it. I think I'm going to, but first, <laughs> Let's make a flat white. All right, so before we get started, I'm going to be making myself a flat white. And the flat white is six to eight ounces of coffee and milk combined. It's usually a full extraction of coffee with the rest being milk. And well, I gotta make myself some of this delicious yummy coffee. Now to start this whole thing off, I usually grab my favorite coffee right now, which is gonna be Rapport Coffee's South Swell. Fun fact, I'm gonna be having my own coffee coming soon. I'm gonna weigh out precisely 18 grams of this delicious coffee, and from there, I'm gonna grind it at a specific setting. So now that that's all taken care of, I got myself my deliciously ground. Ooh, you smell that? Can you smell that? <laughs> so some of you might have seen this before if you go to your favorite coffee shop, but what they're gonna essentially do is they're gonna take the porta filter, we put it right here, uh, on the scale, it's already been wiped out. I'll do it again just to humor the process. And essentially, I'm gonna drop in my 18 grams of coffee right here, evenly distributed to make sure that everything is nice and delicious. And it looks like right here we have 17.5 grams. We lost a little bit in the grinding process. I know this coffee, so I'm cool with losing about 0.5 grams to get this delicious cup. Now from here, this is the important part. I'm gonna be out of shot so you can see this. You're gonna see that I'm going to take the coffee, I'm gonna push it around to make sure that it's filling up all the sides here, but it's still loosey-goosey, and loosey-goosey coffee makes loosey-goosey espresso. So we gotta take this thing right here, which is the tamp, it's nice and heavy. And we're going to tamp this down vertically to make this beautiful, wonderful ah, espresso puck. And from here, we look, everything's looking pretty good. <sighs> Blow out the sides, and we got ourselves a nice espresso. Now, from here, my parameters set, and all I gotta do is press a button. It's gonna get a little loud, but I want you to see the multi step process of this. So, we're gonna go ahead and start pulling our espresso. We're gonna watch the timer, watch the weight, and start steaming our milk. The purpose of steaming the milk is to add air to this delicious treat, and in adding air, it becomes a little bit more frothy, so to speak. I don't like using the word froth, but that's essentially what's going on here. I'm not gonna aerate it too much because I wanna make sure I have a creaminess, and we're gonna see, I can still pour myself a delicious cup of coffee or a delicious flat white with some dope, dope layers. All right, so that's ready to go. We have just a little bit more time steaming and then we gotta do it right away so that we have the milk temperature at the right temperature as well as the texture at the right texture. I'm gonna try to reposition the camera as best possible to make sure that this works. Let's see if I can still pour awesome. Let's see, can you see that right here? You guys see it? All right, first thing is pour a base layer. All right, base layer poured. Now let's try to make something happen. One, two, oh, I think I got it. I got it, baby. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Look at that, boys and girls. You guys can see the hooks coming in right here. And then we have that beautiful, oh, I'm so stoked. I mean, I haven't poured, ah, that's a lie, I've been pouring a lot. But let's see, how does it taste? Oh, so good. All right, I think it's time we head back to the office. We talk about the Gilly Kit King Kong 2, or King Kong Pro 2. Let, let's, let's head over there. Oh, I mean, I tell you, there's nothing like a delicious cup of coffee. Mm, so good. All right, so let's talk about these two controllers. And they're both the same controller, just one is black and the other is white. We got the black one right here, and we also have the cool white one right here. Now I am a sucker for black controllers, so the controller that I have chosen to use on a regular basis is the black one, but this is the all white one, which I have my brother use from time to time. What's really cool about these controllers that I think is the most important thing to me as someone who uses third party controllers on the Nintendo Switch is, well, it turns on my Nintendo Switch. And I can't say that for a lot of controllers. In fact, hold on one second. 
One of my favorite controllers of all time is the 8-Bit Doe Pro 2, but this guy doesn't actually turn on your Nintendo Switch. And that bums me out because the 8-Bit Doe Pro 2 looks great, and I have two more down there that I'm gonna make a video about, but it just, that that's one thing that you omit, and well, that's a bummer. But back to the Gilly Kit, King Kong 2 Pro. Terrible name, guys. Terrible name. Uh, this thing does turn on the Nintendo Switch. Now, this also has a feature on here that really is what makes it stand out among the rest, and that is the fact that this doesn't have your traditional type of thumbsticks. These are electromagnetic thumbsticks. It has electromagnetic sensors in here for the thumbsticks, so this guy right here is going to live up to the hype, which is it will not experience stick drift. Nintendo is riddled with stick drift issues. Uh, the Joy-Cons having huge problems, and though I haven't experienced it on my Pro Controller, which has taken quite a beating over the years, I will say that it probably is gonna happen here too. I don't think that stick drift is something you should try to avoid when it comes to a controller because well, let's all face it, that's the way that you're gonna interact with the controller, the thumbstick, so stick drift may just be a reality. But with the Gilly Kit specifically, the King Kong 2 Pro, that's something that they've designed into it, an anti-stick drift situation. It also has hall sensors here on the triggers, which the triggers feel really, really good, and you can program a couple things such as instantaneous trigger sensitivity, so the second it feels any sort of movement, it'll always activate, or continuous repetitive motion, or like a turbo button. And all of those customizations you can do through the onboard buttons in here. There's no software to use, whether you love that or hate that. I think personally, the software situation is pretty dope when you're doing stuff, such as the 8-Bit Doe Pro 2, which I have put somewhere, <laughs> so many, the 8-Bit Doe Pro 2. This has software that you can use that's free and you can do a bunch of stuff on it, but there's something to be said with having everything on the device itself. Now, let's get into some of the build quality of this because I think that's something that also needs to be spoken into. The buttons are really, really awesome. They feel so unbelievably good. They feel so much better than the mushiness you would get with the Nintendo Pro Controller. There's so many different controllers out there, but I'm just gonna keep with my three favorites, the Pro Controller, this now, the Gilly Kit, as well as the 8-Bit Doe Pro 2. So the buttons feel really, really good and clicky, and the thumbsticks feel the best out of any controller I have ever used. And I'm not just saying that, I genuinely feel like these feel amazing. The bumpers, as well as the triggers, do also feel super, super good. And you know, honestly, I'm just really blown away by the way it feels. The black one specifically has this almost rubberized feel to the handles, whereas the uh, white one feels more like the Xbox Series X controller or Series S controller that just has a textured back. I don't know if it's because mine feels a certain way or if the black is just almost rubberized. It feels rubberized. It's not rubberized, but it feels rubberized. It just feels good. I can also attest to the D-pad functioning very, very well, and it functions by and large way, way better than the, I have no clue where I put it. Oh, it's over there, the Pro Controller. Let me adjust my pants a little too high. Let's take a sip of coffee. Back there. Now, personally, I don't think that this is a make or break issue, but something that I am experiencing that I don't love is the screenshot button is so close to the thumbstick that you end up just taking picture after picture after picture. I already had that issue accidentally pressing the screen button instead of the minus button on my Pro Controller, but on this, you literally take pictures all day long if you slip off of your left thumbstick. It's, it's almost comical. Now, something that I find to be unbelievably surprising, and when I say unbelievably surprising, is that this actually supports Amiibo. I was not expecting that. Uh, and that kind of blows me away because this is a third party product, but it supports Amiibo. Way to go. There are multiple different inputs you can select with whether it's Windows, Android, or uh, Switch, and you kind of just click through and you can set up your different things there. And there are a grip, and I mean a grip of different features that you have in this thing. It comes with actually well-worded and detailed instructions, which is surprising as well because this is a third-party company. And the box has English on it, but it is very tiny and it is poorly translated. So to have instructions that are well-translated is actually Quite a surprise. I think that this thing's actually my favorite controller, hands down. I 
want the 8-Bit Doe Pro 2 to be my favorite, but this thing has blown it out of the water. Not only that, but it's really impressed me. And I've been playing a bunch of games on my Nintendo Switch, whether I stream it live, which you want to make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you don't miss any of the streams, and this thing is my go-to. I love that it ships with this case because what this case does is it allows me to take it wherever I want it to go, and I don't have to worry about any sort of issues with the thumbsticks. Not that that would be an issue anyway. So this thing just gets tossed in my bag. I think that the Gilly Kit King Kong 2 Pro is probably the best third-party controller on the market right now. I can't recommend it enough, and they did not pay me a dime to say any of that. So if you want to make a purchase, you can click the link below. That'll allow you to get this. I get a couple bucks because it's a standard affiliate link through the Amazon store. This company is not giving me anything to say any of this. In fact, I was sent four controllers, and they said, do whatever you want with it. Review it, don't review it, we don't care. Here's four controllers. I genuinely despise making reviews, but I had to make a review of this controller. It's that good.